Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the second, or I guess the third, Boss Fight Studios, Sora Zorik Warriors figure that I'm opening up. And this one is Triax Skiver, Skiver, I'm not exactly sure. So, uh, if you haven't checked it out, at the end I will post a link to the uh, last review of those two guys, same guys, but one's a repaint already. But BBTS exclusive, and there is a story to it. But let's take a look at this one, the Triax Skiver. Anyway, bright colors. These things look really awesome. They're just fun, fun toys. That's all that I can say about them. Absolutely fun. Uh, I do think the box is maybe a little bit too big. The, you, you could cut off a lot there. Uh, not that that really adds price, but it adds space if you can keep the boxes. So there you can see the figure. He comes with uh, two different laser weapons, uh, a giant axe, a sword, and then some sort of smoke grenade. So it's kind of a, they're dinosaurs that are very colorful, that work in the like mythical, I guess everything's mythical, but in a fantasy way and also a mythical way. Um, and on the back, you kind of have a file card and you can see he actually looks pretty cool as he is a triceratops. It says, once a create, once a ceratops guard serving his tribal leader, Triax Skeever discovered a dark secret. His leader was hoarding knowledge and technology that could improve the lives of everyone in Soria. Not content to just sit by, he stole as many of the forbidden clans and tools as he could carry and left the city in the dead of night. Now with a bounty on his head, unable to return home, Triax Skeever tries to stay one step ahead of those who chase him. He's heard tales of a hidden society of exiled scholars and teachers and won't rest until he finds them and brings the knowledge he stole to help all the citizens of Surya. A world-renowned warrior, Triax Skeever uses a very variety of custom ammunition in his revolver to take down his opponents. He arrives ready for battle with a halberd axe, two blaster pistols, knife, two smoke grenades, and armor. Again, hey, you know what, Hasbro? Give us something like that. So anyway, this is the Triceratops. I always love to say tri tri the Triceratops. As a matter of fact, in fifth grade, a long time ago, we had to write a book. And three people of the fifth grade were got picked to have their book in the library. And mine was one of it. And it was about how the Triceratops got the, uh, the three horns. And mine was they ate bones of another dinosaur and they protruded i didn't realize that they were uh that they didn't eat meat <laughs> anyway uh there's the uh the awesome artwork let's take a look at this we're also going to compare them to the size of a masters of the universe because they scale really well and this can really easily go with your masters of the universe so if you like the content take a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell notification and this here is just a wet spot I don't know why I pointed out other than I cannot not see it right now. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, so it's already out of the package. I do want to show you this here. I did like this here. So the other ones come like this. It has a cover, so it holds all the weapons in place. But right here where the figure sits, it's open. So if you are an in-box collector, uh, you can see the figure better without having an extra glare over it. I mean, you're already going to have the glare that's already on it. And then this just holds everything in place. There wasn't any tape on this one, but I don't care. Let's get out of it. Let's get rid of that. All right. So let's just take a look at this guy. So there he is. Oh, I think. Oh, I like him. I just, man, I don't know. I just really like these figures. There's just something about him. I don't know what drew me to him. I'm not even like a dinosaur collector. So let's quickly, we'll just take a look at the articulation. Head looks up and down. And the head is not only on a ball on a ball joint here, but so is the neck. So you can get a nice rocking action, moves back and forth, nice down, good up. The T-pose, no problem. This is right out of the package. There is no double joint. He's a lot like a master of the universe. Gets almost, uh, again, probably a little bit more of what the masters does because his biceps aren't as big, but again, really smooth, no issues. Wrists, twist back and forth Let's get this down here 
He gets a nice Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, less than what I would want in a figure. Again, he's kind of bulky. So under 90 degrees, well under 90 degrees, but we'll see how much that really affects it. Again, this is a $30 figure, so I'm not going to complain all that much. Knees do twist back and forth. You do have your ankle rockers. No foot pegs for it, but they have big enough feet that they stand without a problem. So let's quickly look at this figure and just see what we see here. Again, looking at this, this would fit perfectly with your Masters of the Universe, and I will show this at the end. So he obviously is green, but he has this nice two-tone right here. The other figure has the same thing. Uh, the eyes are very, very detailed uh, with the red. You have the yellow, the, the yellow iris, right? Black pupil and then the red underneath it. Same with that. He's got this nice scar that goes straight down. Uh, you have the horns that are sticking out that are a bone color along with the tips all around here. And the paint just looks really, really good. I don't see any issues. Let's see, does his mouth, and his mouth opens too. Ooh, look at that. So he's got a nice tongue right there. And I think that's too, too open, but look at that. So it closes nicely. So these guys here, their mouths open also. So I'm gonna guess all of them do. So that is just like one nice little artic articulated joint, articulated point that other people uh, don't do. And then you can look at his skin and it's just not, smooth i mean it is a textured like you think of uh, a reptile a dinosaur it's got some little like bumps on it and then you just scroll down as we look down at the leg you can clearly see the paint apps that are on it again it just looks really sharp and that texture is absolutely awesome when you get down to the feet you know, there's a little bit of paint app right there, it, but it, it just, it works. It, it blends together so nicely. And then you've got the uh, the bone color uh, toes right there. And so he's got a wrap on one side, and then he's got like a shin guard right here. A little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of paint app right there. Nice wrap. You see, he's got a holster for his knife, or sheath. Holster for one of his uh, pistols for the other pistol and then this here is going to be used to hold his big axe now i did have an issue with these these ones are much heavier and they don't really stay on that well it is a small complaint but a complaint nonetheless but nothing i'm going to get overly mad about even look at the neck just the texture the detail on it looks really nice and then you look at this overlay and this just looks so much better than uh master of the universe origin but again those were $15, uh, 18 now, approaching 20 This is a $30 figure. So I would expect a little bit more, but again, nothing that, you know, it's to me, $30 isn't crazy for a figure. So just quickly looking at the way this sits over here, you got these nice orange pieces that pop on this purple and then silver, and everything is detailed and textured extremely nice. And when you just look at it, it's, there's no blending. There's no paint runoff. I mean, come on. This, I mean, this is a $30 figure from a smaller company. Hasbro, you can do something as good as this, right? When you do your Joes. I can't speak for the Marvel Legends and Black Series, but I'm assuming they have the same issues. Uh, but I love the armor. This here, the pauldron here, uh, it's just sitting. It, it's rubber, so it moves nice and freely, so you have no issues moving it up, and it's not going to break or anything like that. So, let's go take a look at the weapons that he has. And we'll start with his axe. So the axe has nice texture. Now it's just uh, two different two different colors. So I would assume the black is what color it's supposed to be. Silver would be the paint app. I could be wrong. It might be silver with black, but just quickly looking at it, I'm gonna say silver is the paint. You can tell it's it's obviously been used. So it has some nice detail right there. Even there, like it looks like it's been chopped around and just kind of beat up. And where the notches are on this side are not the same on this side. So to me, that's just a little detail that I love seeing. Even on the back here, you can see where you're getting this detail. 
Then you take a look at, he has a revolver. So it's like a the space dinosaur revolver. So that's pretty cool. Again, just one paint app. I'm trying to figure out if it's the black. This is clearly black. So maybe the black is the paint. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. There's one paint app. I think it looks good. Again, I like the revolver. It looks kind of corny. If you put it on a Jedi Joe figure, I'd say it doesn't work. But I put it on a, a walking, talking space dinosaur. And I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, here you have like your 45 or Glock or whatever. It's kind of a laser pistol. Uh, I like the way this looks. Again, the same colors. So they're obviously, you know, saving some money using uh, less paint apps. But I'm okay with that. It's a brand new line. It's a made-up line. And look at the detail in, the, in this pistol. Just looks really nice. No blast effects. And no port for blast effects. So if you think you're going to use any, you're going to have to use some sticky tack. Here's his knife. Okay. Again, the handle is painted so it looks nicely. Uh, now, there's no really nicks on this. They do give you some detail, uh, which this is how these types of knives are. And then it looks like they have two smoke grenades. Now, these look to be the exact same. So we'll just look at one of them. Again, the paint looks nice, some detail on it. You can put some string, string through it and hold them on there together. I was hoping there'd be somewhere to store it on the figure but i don't think there is again not the worst thing in the world i'm not going to get really upset it looks like both these holsters are the same design so you can put either weapon where you want it so one goes in his back because the revolver kind of got to push it in a little bit more no big deal you have your knife which protrudes out might have that in. i don't think it, i don't think it goes either way or i don't think it matters which way that it goes but there we go so here we'll see if this one's any better all right so this is it's soft and I hope that this one fits a little bit better than the other one. Yeah, so this one seems to fit better. This one is so big. And this guy's on an angle. Now, they made it larger so it holds on, but it just doesn't really hold on. Not to mention these guys are so heavy. Their necks are so heavy, they kind of fall over. But you can watch the review on that. Uh, and unfortunately, there's nowhere to put the uh, the smoke grenades other than in his hand. Or you can find something like someone has an armory behind them. So... Only some bats. Anyway, so let's take a look at how he looks compared to the Dragon Blast Skeletor. And as you can see, they're almost the exact same size. Now this one here, his shoulder looks like it actually sits a little bit lower than Skeletor. Where this guy here, if I stand him up. sits up a little bit higher so i like that look at these two figures and i mean they got to be using some remold i mean the arms and everything are completely different on this so this is a completely different mold i'll be interested to see when i start opening up some of the other ones i like this guy in his little shooting position that i had him in sorry guys you know the rambling it comes to watching a video of mine so how do they how how well do they hold the weapons I gotta say, I did kind of mess up with the guns here. I do want to mention this. If you watch my other video, this, if you push the gun further down, it stays in position where it's supposed to. I didn't realize that I had to push it down a little bit more and it kind of locks in the position. So if you saw my other video and you saw that as a complaint, I kind of rectified that. So he does have trigger fingers. So that's good. I don't even know what I'm pointing at because I'm looking at it. Not So he has a trigger finger so it can go inside the... Uh, the trigger guard so that's nice let's take out the revolver trigger finger on that one too so this guy looks pretty sweet like <laughs> i'm sorry i just worked out just did like 30 minutes of cardio that's for that guy that said that i need to do some cardio because i feel i sound winded anyway <laughs> 
I think that looks pretty cool. Let's see, got his axe. Slide his axe down inside that. Uh, you kind of have to kind of mold the hand back in. They do have some pretty soft hands, which isn't bad. So it does get thicker right over here, so you can easily hold the weapon like so. You can have him swinging it. I like these things. They're just cool. They just look nice. I mean, just in all honesty, just the colors just pop. And if you put them on your shelf, it's going to be one that people are going to walk by and they will stop, I think, and go, what are those things? They look like dinosaurs. Why are they so vibrant colors? And you're going to go, I don't know, but I'm at the forefront of it. There you go. Anyway, let's wrap this up. All right. So there you go. That's the Triax Skeever. I'm sorry. That is Triax Skeever. It's not a Triax. That is his actual name from everything that I can tell. So this is not an army builder. There are some army builders. I got two of them. They do have another wave coming of another four. So I got to say, there's just something about these. They just pop. Um, they're just going to be fun. You can mix them with your Motu. You put them together, they're going to replace something over here. For $30 each, man, I really, really do enjoy them. They're just, they're just fun. The toys that are just fun. There's no story to them. I have no attachment to them. I'm not a big dinosaur fan. I got, I got to say, though, if you have kids, this might be something they might be really interested in. And somewhat affordable, uh, to be honest. So, that's it. If you like them... Check them out. I'll post a link to Entertainment Earth. You can get them there. Wait till they're in stock. You get 10% off using my uh, discount. If you want to get them right now, shoot on over to BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I got these at. They are in stock, or at least they were. That's how I got them. So anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up. You know the deal. The social media is, please, go over. Jump on Instagram. Give me a follow. Instagram, tick, Instagram Twitter, and TikTok, a punk with toys the facebook group page punks with toys because once you join you're a punk with toys and last but not least as i mentioned before if you like the content take a second hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification and hit that like button see i did it all out of order sometimes i get all messed up but hey that's what i know so anyway um that's it we're gonna wrap it up but don't go anywhere if you like this video and you haven't seen it yet right here is this video Right here will be the playlist for these because I'm going to have more.